Welcome back to the Fuller Fanatic channel. I'm very happy to share another Columbia River Knife and Tool production. It's the 6525, or better known as the Lanny. And this is a design by Leong Ma. Although many EDCers in the knife community are well aware of and very fond of, including myself, there are some people who don't know about the Lanny. Being an all new offering from CRKT, there are some differences from previous productions. And I'll start with the obvious, and clearly the elephant in the room. The CRKT Lanny is an assisted opening flipper. But before you go judging a book by its cover, the mistake I can honestly admit making, this isn't your run of the mill average AO, which I'll be the first to say, I'm not fond of the retraction resistance. The new assisted opening system by CRKT directly addresses majority of my issues. Powerful, snappy, and highly reliable, the AO's deployment is consistent. Usually, AO knives run on washers, whereas the 6525 is utilizing IKBS, and this plays a huge role in the deploy and retraction. I'll break the 180 degrees of blade travel into sections to explain. After disengaging the lock, the first 90 degrees, or half of the travel, is free fall, and the blade rides solely along the bearings. Then, from about 95 to 45 degrees, or the next one-fourth of travel, the resistance from the tension bar kicks in and it's not overly excessive in its resistance. And now here's where things get even more interesting. The remaining 45 degrees of travel actually has no resistance whatsoever. What's even more surprising is the fact the blade actually pulls itself shut in the same fashion as a non-assistant manual flipper's detent does. CRKT has dubbed this their bias to close assisted opening. And yes, it is assisted, but in my opinion, it's 100 times better than any AO knife that I have personally experienced. As for the build, the 6525's handle comes in at 4 and 26 hundredths of an inch in length. Milled from aluminum and sporting a textured pocket-worn pattern, followed by a smooth section, forming a full bolster look. All the hardware has been anodized blue, including the stop pin, backspacer, and CRKT branded pocket clip. It's definitely a deep carry clip that curves upwards and is rounded off to easily slide over transitions. The clip is tip up only, right or left hand carry. The recessed area for the clip is filled with a milled plug held in by two screws. The flipper tab is smooth and has no jimping at all, but with the tab's angle and the aid of the assist, it's not needed. On deployment, the assist kicks in after about 45 degrees of travel, pushing the blade for about 45 degrees more of the travel. Then, at the halfway point, the blade glides freely across its bearing system into lockup. The blade comes in at 3 and 175 thousandths of an inch in length, and I believe it to be the star of the show, or functional art so to speak. The drop point, satin finished blade, sports a compound grind. From the tip up to about half the belly is a flat grind, and the remaining edge sports a hollow grind. Made of 8 CR13 MOV, the landing sports a fully functional fuller, which obviously would be my choice of deployment. The blade is multi-finger flickable, and for the average fidgeter, this becomes very addictive. For some others who may not be too familiar with the middle finger deployment, this assisted opener makes learning and becoming comfortable with flicking simplify. Coming in at 4.1 ounces, the 6525 is very light. The internal milling aids in weight relief in addition to homing the tension bar. The build is using a liner locking system with adequate jimping that protrudes beyond the scale's edge, allowing easy disengagement. In addition to keeping the scale symmetrical, which is always a plus for me, all body screws except T6 hex bits, while the pivot uses a T8. And I mention this because now we will be entering the build. The pivot itself, as well as the backspacer, both are designed by Leong Ma himself. And although it appears to be a free spinning pivot, it's not. The lock side pivot has a D-shape that keeps it locked into place. The bearings are caged in line on, which I thought they would be loose bearings running in a milled channel within the frame. So there's no need to worry about them flying everywhere during maintenance. The liner locking tab and detent rest on the lock side, and the tension bar is homed on the show side scale. In order to access this area, the screws holding the plug previously mentioned must first be removed. And underneath this plate, we find the tension bar swimming in packed grease. You can clearly see its two main positions, open and close. And with these two bends on the tension bar, I believe once it's reached a certain point, the bend points in the bar relieve the bar's tension, but retain the spring, forcing the blade going forward, allowing the detent to take over, pulling the blade closed. Now, of course, this being just my theory from what I'm seeing here. So now we can button this beauty back up and I'll share my final thoughts. In total, there are eight screws. And to disassemble the flipper, six of them must come out. 
That's a lot of parts to deal with in the field. The build itself is sturdy, well put together, and an awesome fit and finish that is levels above any CRKT I've come across or personally own. The aluminum construction, overall weight, and blade geometry are all spot on. The blade material, for me, leaves a little bit to be desired, but will easily take a sharp edge. Coming in at an overall length of just under 7.5 inches, the Lanny's design reminds me of an exotic sports car design. Even though it's sitting still, the body lines and angles give the object its own motion and life. And the new bias to close feature is just icing on the cake, so to speak, in my opinion. The action and fidget factor are all there and intact. And myself being biased towards the Lanny design, I would be hard pressed trying to find a two specs build Lanny I'm not drawn to. So overall, I have to say, CRKT really made it happen. And at its price point, this design can be brought to the masses on a new platform with materials the consumer won't mind taking through the paces and putting them to the test. This is definitely a win for CRKT. What are your thoughts on the 6525 Lanny by CRKT? Comment down below and please rate, share, and subscribe to the channel. Signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.